What is the difference between a haircut or a trim? Well, not really much. It's just the word itself because people may get confused. A trim just means skimming the ends, something very, very light. But a haircut has to mean you're chopping off you know, five inches of hair or completely getting rid of all your hair. Well, when you think about it, you still have to do the same exact technique and method whether you're cutting a half an inch of hair or five inches of hair off. It's just that when you're cutting more hair, it just sometimes takes a bit more time. But what you have to understand is why would you need a trim versus a haircut or why would you call it a trim versus a haircut? So to me, when I think somebody, when someone says, oh, I want a trim, I have to ask them a number of questions and that's what you yourself as the consumer or the client have to keep in mind and express to the professional cutting your hair. So if you go in and you say, oh, just give me a trim. Well, I've had people tell me just trim it and then after I'm done, they're like, oh, actually, can you cut it shorter? I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I spent a whole hour cutting your hair and trimming it like you said and now you want me to go back and do the whole thing all over again? Get out. <laughs> so. What you have to really, really convey and, and express to us and let us know is that how much hair really do you want to cut off? What type of look are you going for? How long do you want your hair? How long is your hair right now? Just, you can't leave us in the dark or leave us hanging by saying, I just want a little bit off, but meanwhile, you want like your head shaved, but then you're saying, oh, just give me a trim. So for example, this haircut right through here. So say your hair is this long, you love the length and you want to keep it as such and you're like, you know what, just clean it up. Clean it up is a much better phrase than, you know, just give me a trim. I'm still cutting your hair. Technically it still is a haircut, but I'm cleaning the ends. Or you could say, I'm trying to grow my hair out. The ends are a bit dead and I want to keep growing it. Just don't cut a lot of hair off. Just really, really clean up the ends and shape it up. But I love where it's at right now. It just needs to be, you know, cleaned up and shaped beautiful. That means I'll go in and I will look at the hair and I'll say, all right, let's see what we got here. We're going to clean it up. We're going to skim it. He loves the length. All right. I'm just going to trim up those ends right there and clean up those ends and shape it. And we're good to go. I'm not changing the shape. I'm not changing the style. I'm literally pulling everything out from the head and cutting what looks like it needs to be cut. Now in the process of doing that, if I come across any areas, right? And especially if this is a new customer or a sub, whatever I'm doing, I, I come across parts of the haircut that are really, really uneven or really off. I will point that out to the individual. I'll say, hey, look, this is the first time I'm cutting your hair, I know, but I, I really came across a couple of trouble areas that are, are really causing the haircut not to grow out properly or could be causing some issues. Like for example, when you pull the hair straight up like this, you may see and you can show them you could say, hey, look, you know, this side is like three inches shorter than this side. I suggest balancing it up. And yes, it will require having to take off more length in here. But as it grows out, it's going to look so much better. Is that OK if I do it? Oh, my gosh. Yes, please. I don't want my hair to be uneven while it's growing out. So that's it's OK to like point out and bring up any sort of troubled areas or challenge areas on the haircut so that you're actually helping the client out. It's still a haircut, even though I'm cleaning it, I'm trimming it, it's still a haircut. But another example would be, all right, I haven't had a haircut in like six months. My hair is like really, really grown out. It's way out of control. It's super, super long. I want I want I need a haircut. Then I would say, okay, so are we going to completely get rid of a lot of this hair? Like, do you like super short haircuts? Is this something where like you never want your hair this long ever? You were looking at like more of a messy textured spiked look. You want to slick it back. You want the butt, the sides buzzed. Like you want, you know, and that's where you may say, do you have any sort of, you know, images or things you like about your haircut? Or can I see some of your older images of, of the haircut you liked? And then that's when you can take it from there. So this, this may turn into a full haircut where the word trim is not mentioned. Cleanup is not mentioned but like, I need a legit haircut. My hair is a mess right now. It's way out of control. I haven't cut my hair uh, since quarantine and I usually, you know, wear a spiked hairstyle. All right, in my mind then I'm thinking to myself, okay, this guy 
or this woman, whatever, needs a massive, massive haircut. This is a big job right here, so I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna cut the hair. So after I spend an hour cutting it, it's not like I have to recut the whole damn thing all over again. And then lastly, on a haircut like this, say you've got a female that comes in or you know, a client that wants uh, to have a trim, they love the shape of it, and it just needs to be cleaned up. So more of a traditional haircut, right? You know, you're a client, you're, you haven't had a haircut in about a month and a half, two months. You love the shape, it's just getting long. That's where I'd go in and I'd evaluate how everything looks. I would kind of assess uh, the, the, the lengths and what type of haircut it is. And then I'll go in and I'll say, okay, these bangs are super, super long right in through here. We gotta really like bring these up and shape them up a bit. You know, all right, let's start here and you know, let's start cutting some hair. Let's bring these up. I'm gonna probably eventually wash the hair and stuff like that or before we get started. But I'm just doing this for the video right here just to kind of show you a visual, you know. Uh, all right, or, or say this for example is a bang trim or a fringe trim and, she, and the client's like, yeah, these are really, really long. Uh, I would say, okay, well, this is a bit more than a trim. You need to have your, your banks cut because they're really, really, really grown out. So let's, let's cut these suckers and let's, uh, let's shape them up and get them, get them in, in, the, in the correct flow. And then you start to work it in and you say, okay, that's looking much better. All right, now we're on the right track. So really what it comes down to, folks, is the terminology being used. What type of haircut do you want? You know, what, what are you doing with your hair? What, what really needs to be done to the hair, right? Does it need a full haircut? Does it need a cleanup or a shaping? All those things are really, really important. And that's the difference really between a trim versus a haircut. What do you need, you know? So if you are interested in buying any of my products, if you go to shop.thesalonga.com and use code YouTube20, that's YouTube20, it's an exclusive code for everyone here. I've got blow dryers, brushes, scissors, products, uh, all sorts of great things that will be helpful. You get 20% off, and if your order value is over $50, you get free shipping in the United States. Please let me know if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.